Race day morning, normally from my perspective, is uh, there's a lot of tension that I feel from the guys. Yeah, it's definitely different to every other practice day, I guess. You can notice a heightened level of seriousness. There's definitely nerves, but kind of of the unknown. If you don't get nervous, I think, while you're lying, everybody gets nervous, you know, and you've just got to pull it into adrenaline. In a day, you've got to be confident in your own ability. I think if all goes well, I could be really quite up there, which is kind of exciting as well, but just keep seeing round will be nice, get some good solid points. Everyone just wants to get the job done and try and win that thing. If uh, the race goes to plan, Danny can obviously win. It's going to be close, obviously, but a 1-2-3 is a good good uh, result. If everything falls into place, we should be should be sweet. What's the goal for today? Wow. I want to win, you know. Goal's always to win, you know. You line up, you never line up to take part. You never line up to come second or third, you know. The ultimate goal is always to win. And Danny's legs are, are you know, he's into the season now. The tracks are good for him. So, uh, and he's getting more and more confident as the weeks go by. I'm looking forward to it today. I think it's going to be a good show. Yeah, I'll smile after. And smile now, your job is done. It's just up to him to ride the bike. Yeah, I get super nervous, you know, like as they're about to come down, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of a rack in a way. Come on, Needles. Jesus. Come on, Needles, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Needles. Get into the hot seat, buddy. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Needles goes into the hot seat. Needles to the hot seat by point one. All right, Danny's up 1.6 at the first. Danny up. He's got to send it here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Danny. Come on. All right, that's Danny. Point nine ahead. Jumps into the hot seat. Point nine up into the hot seat. Well, we just had uh, Minar bump Danny out of the hot seat. I know he's going for the win, so it makes it a bit tough, but, you know, he's still in there. Hard work. Good enough, foul. Not good enough, foul. I'll take it. Third at worst. Danny on the podium again. Good spot to be in, but, yeah, we're, we're definitely going for the win with Danny at this point, so. Got to take the success of this week and move, move to next week and hope for a win. After Worlds and winning Worlds, like, now I know I can win, it's different to just wanting to win. But once you win and you know you can do it, you just want to do it again and again. Now I've got a taste for it, I just want to keep doing it. Fucking hell of a battle, that sounded like, I tell you. Fucking close. Fucking close. Oh, unreal. Good job they make. Oh. Consistent, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I can't wish for anything better than that. Dave is a great mechanic. He's just come on to work for me this year. Dave is a character in the sense that he just has a really unique relationship with his riders. You know, with Danny, he's he's like a, he's like Danny's uncle. Danny always seems to attack me at the, the least appropriate times. <laughs> <laughs> we had fight on steroids, those two. It's ridiculous. Me and Danny have this relationship with, which is similar to Bert and Ernie from Sesame Street. <laughs> but it's pretty funny because Dave's got the upper hand. It's good, it keeps Danny in check. We've had nothing but laughs from day one and we both want the same thing. We're both out there to win and but we don't like to take it too seriously. Do your best American accent, Dave. Eh? Gee, Martha, look, there's a real live scotch, man. <laughs> scotch, yeah. They'll come walk the track. Between me and Danny, we walk the track to understand each other. If Danny comes down on the first day of practice and he explains that he's having some difficulty in some part of the section, I have to understand where that conversation is coming from. I could probably just end up coming down the grass and then cutting across. Ah. Left hander there, right in the open, is the only place where you'd struggle with that back tire. The only thing we're going to need to do is just lift up the rear tire pressure a bit. Yeah. Just, just to protect the, the back wheel on there. It's all very well having grip, but you've got to make it down. That's very true. I'll give you that one, Dave. Cheers. High five. <laughs> Weather is going to be good all weekend. We got our race set up already because we tested that last week, which Danny used in his race run. So um, just means uh, 
having some good practice. Wait for qualies. Something that makes Danny different to probably a lot of other racers is the fact that we get there for the first day of practice and by the second or third run he's up to speed straight away. His probably second or third run is probably almost as quick as he's going to go for the weekend. The track here in Wyndham is really short which means you've got to get into it the split second you leave the start. Probably this year, Wyndham's probably one of our shortest tracks. That means times are tight, that means you're going to make less mistakes, you have a near perfect run. I quite enjoy it, you know, you've got to think outside the box in some sections and have a really near to perfect race run. I think. and qualifying, I'm a little bit back on points, so the thing is on this track you can't make any mistakes anywhere. you just got to be on it from the get-go and uh, not let up at all, just pin it. When we're going out for qualifying, I think the best thing that I can do for Danny is to keep everything as light as possible. This is like Big Brother Day. Yeah. There's cameras yeah. coming all over this except there's no birds that want to get into bed with you. The last thing that I do is check uh, tire pressures and after that, you know, you just stood next to Danny waiting for him uh, to give you a high five and that's it, he lines up. Mate, hit it up. Big effort, mate. Come on, Danny! From the start of my warm-up to the bottom of the course for racing or qualifying is it's all business, you know, I, I put my head down and that's the part of the weekend, what is just me and no one can affect me. You don't know how he did yet, do you? You know, you can cross your fingers and just hope that he got uh, a consistent run. You gotta go get stitches. Fuck. Where to? Uh, Joe's gonna take him down. As Danny says, there's nothing like a bit of drama, so you can just put that into the pedals for some more. I think I cut it before riding and then it just keeps opening up. This time it opened up worse than it has done before, so we're on our way to the hospital. I'm quite lucky normally, I've only ever had stitches once. Yeah, it's a pretty good cut, actually. <coughs> Get that into your clay. Tough two days, really. I had real good speed and was riding really well and... Then that just put me back a little bit and I had to try and get up to speed in once again that start line and in that gate and it's go time. Yeah, finals, here we are again. It seems like not even a week has passed, but it's been exactly a week. We spend a lot of time and a lot of energy getting to this point and it's it's really just for a couple of minutes worth of racing time for the downhill guys. Spend the better part of a year preparing for just these few minutes of racing. Hey Paul, Danny's up by almost two seconds at the first split. Come on, Danny. Come on, buddy. Get it in there. Come on, Danny! Danny came down in first. He's about uh, 1.1 ahead of second place. And Needle's the next guy down for us. He qualified really well and hopefully we can see him come down in the hot seat. It's still a top 10, man. Yeah, yeah. It's solid. It's consistent. I know you, you want to attack a little more, but that's... Yeah. It's just not what I wanted at all, but I did want consistency this year and I've obviously shown that, so... I've never been so disappointed with the top 10 in my life, so... Fourth is bad, it's another podium. And how about Steve Smith? Uh, can't complain. Oh. I think Danny Hart, you know, when it comes to racing, it's pretty simple to him. When he gets in the gate, 
He's fearless. Every single race that he competes, you can tell he's figuring out piece by piece how to race for him. What impresses me is his consistency at that age. I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with for many years to come. He's the next level of rider that people are going to be chasing for probably the next 10 years. I can see a fire in him that you know I haven't seen in you know people that I've worked for for quite a long time. You know, it, it, it's rejuvenated my uh, fire for for downhill racing.